Contemporary. We are hanging at the bottom lounge. Uh, Dad went to go get some coffee at the Joffrey's, and we are mobile ordering our breakfast. Uh, which I like mobile ordering because you're able to see like what size you want, especially because I like, get kids meals a lot, so you're able to like customize and see like what you could do, so that way you can get double fries, all that. The only downside of it is it doesn't keep your like we use gift cards because we. Uh, buy them like throughout the year so it's not all one large sum but you can't keep your your gift card on your account every single time you move order you have to re-put in your gift card so I wish there was a way that you could fix that but waiting for dad it's very empty right now and we're gonna go eat some breakfast I was up the entire night did not have a good night's sleep as you could tell bags under my eyes uh, I don't know I was up every half hour and was up for good at 5 a.m. so hopefully I last the day and I did was up for 7 a.m. got our guardians boarding group so excited for that so let's go get some breakfast all right Contempo cafe we mobile ordered so we said we were here time to pick up I got the bounty platter, which comes with potatoes, eggs, which I don't eat, so Kristen's eating them, two sausage, two bacon, and of course a Mickey waffle, and a fruit cup. Mom and Dad got the same. <laughs> and then Bradley got a kid's meal, and then just bacon? No. Oh, that I, came with I it? I just got bacon. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, and then his comes with the apple slices and an apple juice, and then they have these little gifs. Do you need a Nice. Her? Why is, why is Pa mad? Because in order to monorail, let your dog Whoa! No! Waiting for the monorail. We just missed it. So we've been, but we've been waiting. What are you most excited for for Epcot today? Uh, going to the galaxy. Maybe I'm kind of excited and bad to meet I'm super excited for both of those as well. What, what song do you think we'll get for Guardians? Do you know the songs? I'm hoping for song? I'm hoping for September. What's your favorite Guardian song? <laughs> Tell them. I am. I yeah, you're like right. Guy. Yeah, that should be one of the Which song choices. Don't understand why it's not. That's not one of them. Right now. Uh, that would be a good one. So petition oh, to put so that in. Run, run the world. But oh. first up, of course, is Spaceship Earth. Only like a five minute wait. And seriously, like it's not that hot out. Don't jinx it. I don't know. It's, it's not. Out it's right still. Now. It's 9 30. So right now it's not bad. So hopefully two for two, and we keep the street going. It's very cloudy, so there's no sun. Slight humidity, but not 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 sweating yet. So that's always a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Imagination of Figment, five minute wait. You can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing Figment. One spark of light. and Bradley's go-to spot and he was a little baby, he still loves it. <laughs> right 
right inside the Pixar shorts is where you can meet Mickey Mouse. There's a very little sign. You kind of only saw it if you were coming in here and there was only a five minute wait. <laughs> Their water fountain right outside of Figment and the Pixar is super cold and doesn't taste horrible Florida water. So if you need to refill, time for a test track. Bradley is hesitant again. We tried to explain to him that we drive faster in Jersey than this ride goes. <laughs> so we have his headphones though, he doesn't like the sound, so Let's see how he does. Look at Bradley's super cool car. Did you make that? Wow, that's fantastic. I love the color. Did you like it? Uh -huh. We knew you would, right? Yeah, I love the ticket. Oh, good. We have about an hour until our guardians, so me, Chris, and I just took a bonnie in. Because uh, honestly, test track just made me a little nauseous. I was filming on my camera and my phone, and I was looking through. So, hoping it's that, but a lot of things make me nauseous, so I don't know. So, I'm really hoping. We're okay on Guardian. This is my first time taking Bonnie, so we have about an hour. I think we're gonna get a snack and sit for a little bit. Got ourselves a Mickey pretzel. I already ate his ear. Uh, but on the menu, you'll see, and it says Mickey pretzel with cheese. You could get it without the cheese, and it is like a dollar cheaper. So like, I don't like the cheese, so I don't get it. So if you're not looking to eat it, you could order it without it. Our boarding group has been called. Number 71, we were called out at about 12 o'clock. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? Head it on. I really, 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 really want September. I want September. Second I'll take is everybody wants to rule the world. Then I ran. But I really want September. But I'm not gonna film on the actual ride because it's my first time on it. If you want to see what it's like, you would just look up that video. And I'm very nervous, so I'm gonna get sick. So, the least amount of movement I'm doing, the better. Commander of the Nova Corps, on behalf of all Zandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Zandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Zandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Talmeric, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. 
As you're about to enter a secure NOVA area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now! So you will never see us on that ride ever, ever again. That was the most horrific ride I have ever been on. I guess someone who gets sick, like on the teacups and on test track before, should not be attempting this ride because it was horrible. The second we shot back, my eyes were closed the entire ride. I felt like we were doing backflips. I felt like we were doing like circles down into a tube. I can't even explain the feelings that were coming out of this ride. And my eyes were closed, so I have no idea what we were doing. I don't understand how no one else was getting sick. Mom, me, and Kristen are sick. Dad closed his eyes. Mom tried to keep her eyes open the whole time. Uh, there was two other people in the like we're sick area. One guy not looking so hot. Um, but the second, mom, like, I, I was oh, like, I was really nauseous if I didn't close my eyes, and if there wasn't, there was like a massive amount of air conditioning blowing on you, and I would have thrown up for sure if it wasn't for the air conditioning. Um, and I was next to a stranger, so that would not have been good. But uh, mom was feeling the worst, and a cast member came right away to her with a barf bag and a bottle of water. So it must happen all the time because she was prepared, like literally the second mom came out, she handed it to me. Uh, we did get uh, One Way or Another, which is the one song I forgot even existed. Uh, but yeah, could not tell you anything about this ride because my eyes are closed. Uh, one and done for us. We'll not try this ever again. Uh, and yeah. Even with the fill in us. Yeah, we took Bonnie in. Uh, they have their little patches on, uh, they have patches here, uh, we tried literally everything. So, if you get motion sickness, do not go on this ride. Everyone else loves it, I feel like we're the only ones that have ever said anything bad about it. But, sorry. Lunch today is the Coral Reef. Do you know where we're eating? Probably doesn't know. Do you know what this place is? <laughs> We got front row seats to the aquarium. We had a 1.30 reservation and we got here at exactly 1.30. Our plan was to get here much earlier to request as close to the aquarium as possible, but with Guardians and us getting sick, uh, we were delayed. And it didn't matter, it's only four top tables over there, and we're five, so we got the next bus for the second row. So, seeing what we we're gonna eat, I don't eat anything here except a Caesar salad, which is an appetizer. So, I'm hoping I can get the Caesar salad as like a meal. I think they're feeding the Or I'm just kidding, it. and Caesar salad, they get a snack and all the turtles, and look, they're all coming. The scuba divers are out, we got some turtles back there. It gets lunchtime. Oh, and here's the most massive stingray. It is frightening. Oh, shark. But look at the size of this stingray. He is massive. Oh my god. Wow. That stingray is. Got him. No, no, Just no, got no. our food, and Kristen and Mom got the mahi mahi. Yeah. Yeah. Bradley got the kids salmon, his broccoli, and jasmine rice. Kristen. And then Dad got the chicken pasta. Yeah. 
crack up a little. This shrimp on top. Okay, I. I think they were and I got the Caesar I salad. I asked to see if I can get like a bigger portion, and she said I could not. So it is the like appetizer size. So I'll probably get a snack in a few hours. Just been to lunch at Coral Reef. It's been probably like 15 years since we have been here. Got the Caesar salad. It was very good. Very good salad. Uh, good sauce. Good appetizer portion like I would I'm gonna definitely be hungry in like an hour or two uh, but I don't need anything else but came for the ambiance Ma how was yours? I had the mahi mahi was delicious Ooh, fancy like, very 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 good I did try it which I am not a fish eater and it tastes like just like chicken so if you like chicken and want to try something new and you don't eat fish like me Give it a try. It literally tastes like chicken. And like, I don't eat fish at all. Two thumbs up. He loves the salmon. I've had it before, the mahi mahi, when I was pregnant with him. And it's still really good. And you're welcome everybody for taste, letting, making you taste good. Well, Dad, how was yours? Eh, it's all right. What did you say about it? It's old, it's <laughs> sitting there for a while. Just like him. Oh! <laughs> Thanks. That's why Caitlin's. Oh, I was gonna say, that's why Caitlin's my favorite. And a little tip: if you're eating at a sit-down restaurant, you can get your drink to go. I just got a water, but I asked uh, for ice water in a to-go cup to take back into the park, and she gave us all one. Mom got a seltzer, seltzer. Kristen and Dad and Bradley had lemonade, and she gave us a full, okay. large size of them all. So get that to go because you paid for it. Might as well have more to drink as you're walking the parks. In the land and we're heading into Awesome Planet, <laughs> which we have not seen yet. This will be a first for us. Hello. Time for Soren. Bradley has been asking on repeat when it was time for Soren. It is that time now. Soon you will be here for So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or heights, I want to wait for your buddy to arrive. Okay, let's review. offline because we were there for like 10 minutes and it wasn't moving and they just kept saying we have no idea how long it'll be so we don't know what happened we think someone was trying to steal a cucumber <laughs> so we are heading over to Starbucks which is very annoying because the only Starbucks now is creations so we have to go all the way back around they should have kept the one that was at World Showcase while you can't cut through Back at Connections Cafe, stopped at Starbucks. I'm a Starbucks girl now. I had my first Starbucks like a week ago in Hershey. And it's not coffee, it's just a lemonade, but it has some caffeine in it, which I need because it's midday. I had a little nap during, during the planet show. So. All right, we're heading into the World Showcase. We got our Remy hide and squeak, Bradley's favorite, and we found our first Remy at Australia. Next up is Canada. What is he holding? The pot. It seems Ooh. like every year on Fuller Vine Festival, they move it. Yeah, that's cool, right? So it's always new. Come on, let's go and find some more. JK, the one that we saw was Canada, was actually the apple seed orchard. We found the one in Canada. It's the bread by the stores. Okay. Entertainment as we're passing by. Mom got the first food and wine of the trip. What'd you get? The warm chocolate 
pudding cake. Pudding cake with what, what is that sauce? Pirate uh, uh, some type of Irish cream or something. Yeah, liqueur. Let's see, look at that in Bailey. Like, let's taste. Hey, who got you an extra spoon? Who did? That oh, was for Brandon. Oh, you got three spoons. So good. Remember that one time you got it when it first came out and it was oozing still? Oh. Heading into Ratatouille. This is the fam's first time. Only me and Ma got to do annual pass previews last summer. The France show is all like show things, and Les Mis is me and Dad's favorite musical of all time. Number one. But if you know that play, it's about like prostituting yourself. And my parents took me to see that play when I how old was I? Four. Um, and I was. I already was obsessed with the music, so I was listening to that music when I was like two or three, and I would sing with my dad the prostitute song, and they took me to see it. <laughs> and to this day, it's my favorite. And I didn't understand like Broadway shows that you had tickets. I thought it was like Disney. So when the doors opened, I ran to the front to get front row, and we were not in the front. <laughs> we didn't have front row. Like it doesn't work that way. I didn't yeah, know. I have only known Disney. Uh, no, but. she also said. <laughs> waiting on the line to get a, you know for us to open the doors to get our seats She's waiting on the line because I hope I make this show and we don't have to wait for the next one I go no it's not Disney this is the show so that was all I was used to <laughs> and I was four going to see the prostitute show <laughs> and weather update it's still gorgeous slightly warmer than before humidity went up it's only like 55% humidity though so have not sweat yet so it's a perfect day to walk, World Showcase. Much was that? We stopped at Belgium and Bradley just wanted a plain waffle. Like 15 and For six bucks. And then Dad got... Beef potatoes. We made it to Morocco and we're heading on the French ship landing boat. Back to Future World, me and Mama are gonna go Connections Cafe to eat as the others do a loop around the showcase. I tried to mobile order because I do prefer it, but there's no times left. 
we each got the kids chicken, comes with two strips, french fries, and then you get a choice of another side, we got double fries. So lots of french fries. We are trying to beat the rain. It's getting breezy. Can hear some noise. Let's see if we make it. Back in the Contempo Cafe, and Daddy got the chicken sandwich. It's spicy. Oh, spicy. And then Kristen and Bradley got the kids' sandwich. And just like that, another day has come to an end. It was Epcot Day. I have been up since 5 a.m. Did not have a good night's sleep, so I was up every half hour to begin with. But I did get the Guardians boarding group at 7, group 71, and we were called to board at like 12 o'clock. So just to give you like a heads up if you are get if you got them like what time you might be called. We will never ever ever go on that ride ever again. Uh, I know everyone else like absolutely loves it. From everyone's videos, they made it seem like it was like a spectacular ride. My eyes were closed the entire time, so I could not tell you. Um, I'm guessing it's like a really, really, really cool coaster. So I would say it's definitely, out of all of Disney, that's like the biggest thrill ride for sure. Like, I don't, I'm okay on every, like, Everest does get me nauseous, the whole backwards part. Um, Rock and Roller Coaster, I think, is in like slow-mo, so that doesn't bother me. Tower Tower, depending on how many drops there are. Sometimes rather me, sometimes doesn't. But this was like another level. We're in all these like Disney Facebook groups and people were writing like, if you could do Gringotts, it's exactly the same. Uh, if someone was saying they got more sick on Remy's Ratatouille. So like, I was like, oh, well, as long as we like take precautions, like we'll be fine. I had no idea. Like I never felt like that on a ride before. Uh, Luckily, I was able to shake it off quickly. I kept my eyes closed the entire time. I was like doing deep breathing, meditation, good vibes to the universe to not throw up on the random stranger next to me. Uh, didn't even get the song I wanted. But honestly, I like was blocking out even that, just trying to focus on breathing. So I literally heard it the second we got back and then I couldn't tell you the rest of the song. Uh, luckily the air is blowing so intensely on you that that was helping me a little bit. But yeah, we will not be going on that again. <laughs> None of us liked it. Dad closed his eyes the entire time. Bradley said he watched it, but he doesn't like coasters, so he was just screaming. So yeah, one and done for us. But we said we did it, said we would do it, and we at least gave it a try. But I miss Ellen. Ellen was my nap spot and I really, really, really needed that today. It was a 45 minute nap basically. You had the big long row so I was able to legit lay down and nap for 45 minutes. So I do miss Ellen. That was my, my spot. We did a lot today. We did uh, many, many rides. Ate at Coral Reef. Uh, it's me. It was just a Caesar salad so not much but Mom and Chris absolutely loved their dish. Uh, the fish were awesome, the uh, scuba divers were feeding them, so he brought the food right to the window and was waving to us so all the fish were right there. The most massive stingray I've ever seen in my entire life. We saw some turtles, so it was fun. Uh, and then of course we did Rami's Ratatouille, which was the fan favorite of the day. Super cute ride, it smells so good, like it smells like a restaurant. And then I was like, didn't get a long enough nap in the little show. So uh, me and mom went back to the front to eat dinner. And then I fell asleep at the table <laughs> as we waited for them to finish the world showcase round. So I was tired. Uh, and we tried to beat the storm, but we didn't get what, I don't even know. Like right, I think it just started raining at the contemporary, but it doesn't look like it is. Uh... I was afraid like the monorail went run. I don't know how that works, but we made it back. They stopped at the Contempo Cafe to eat because they didn't really, they didn't eat anything around the world. Uh, I stopped at the little market to get my Mickey pretzels. Then it's time for bed. Uh, tomorrow is another day. 
another park. And with that, I say, good night, everyone.